I am Andy and I am here with Heather and um, Amwin and I came around and had dinner with you. We heard something of your story um, a few weeks ago which we loved hearing. Yeah. So Heather, tell us, tell us about uh, your journey because it was lots of years mm -hmm. of you walking a single journey. Talk to us about that. Yeah. So I was single for 43 years, insert IPOP, and um, it was an amazing journey. During that time, I was able to build a relationship with God. Um, and my relationship with God began building when I was in middle school. And throughout that time, I, just by spending time with Him, um, it really helped me in the later years of being single because it helped me with my trust towards Him. Um, it, it was really cool because we would go out on dates and we would go look over the lake together or we'd get in the car and and i'd pretend like we're holding hands you know and and it was it was really just a beautiful relationship and and would play around i would sit down and pretend like i'm having dinner with him so how how, how old were you at this point uh well into my 30s okay. <laughs> so, well into my 30s so what you learned in middle school became actually a place of intimacy that you you just you were just like, Jesus is going to be my husband. Absolutely. And I even prayed in middle school and asked him to keep me pure until my wedding day, which he did. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And, um, and then I also prayed that he wouldn't let me get caught up in all the emotions of dating and all of that. Whenever I met my husband, I would be grounded and I'd be able to see clearly and hear clearly. And that's exactly what happened. So fast forward 43 years later, um, there were a lot of amazing things that happened. Uh, I, was, I was able to live my life in a fantastic way, get my master's degree, um, build up money to buy a car outright, get some really nice furniture, go on exotic vacations and mission trips. I was able to live my life full and that's what I want other people to, to, to do. So what I hear you saying is that as a single person, you, you lived it up. I did. You, you were like, I'm taking every opportunity Absolutely. Uh, to live fully for the Lord right now. Yes. What was that like being at church as a single person? <sighs> it was hard, actually. Um, there, you know, it was sitting by yourself every single time at church, unless you had family there. Um, it was, but on the way to church and on the way from church, it was awesome because that's when I would worship in the car. That's when I would pray for the service and pray for the pastor and the worship people. And it, that's when I would prepare, you know, and get that connection going so that when I enter church, I would already be connected. And so that helped with the loneliness and it helped with the sitting by yourself. But eventually after so many years, you kind of throw that off and you just, it becomes normal, you know, and, um, but, but God was there through it all and through, because I was be able to build a relationship with Him and a history, I was able to see the red flags when I was dating wrong people. He would always show me the red flags and He would always close the door. And sometimes it was like, one time I heard an audible voice, get out of here now. Wow. And sometimes it would take me longer to heed those red flags than others, but He was always faithful. So when I met my husband, then I trusted him because I knew beyond doubt that he would show me the red flags and he would close the door if this was the wrong one. And I was gonna be grounded in him and I was gonna to talk to the Holy Spirit and I was gonna observe what is his heart because I knew what the heart that I wanted. Didn't matter about the parents or, or anything like that. I knew the heart of the person that I wanted and I knew I hadn't found him yet until he entered the picture. There was a key day where I was riding my bicycle in 2016 in March. And I was riding my bicycle in a Civil War battlefield that was just outside of work. And I just started talking to God and asking Him to tell me about my husband. And He told me everything. He told me what he looked like. He told me his character, his personality. He even told me his name, but that was camouflaged. He told me when and where we would get married, but I didn't realize it until after we got married because again, it was camouflaged. Um, but he told me when we would meet. He said we would meet at the end of this year, but we wouldn't get started till next year. Again, this was in March. This was eight months prior. And I was like, what does that mean? Which means I don't like that answer, you know? And it was perfect timing because we got connected in October right after he fasted and prayed 
for 21 days and the men's group prayed for him for me, which he didn't know me at the time. And right after that, we were connected. And during the years of my singleness, I fasted and prayed for my husband. And it might not have been every single day, you know, but it was a lot. And I prayed for his family and fasted for his family. And as a result, when I met his family, it connected so amazing. His brother leads worship and, and is a piano player. And we just got together and started worshiping. And the whole, the whole night was amazing. And they even made a comment. They said, we feel like you're part of our family, like we've known you forever. That was a result of the fasting and the prayer that I had done with God during all those years. And it paid off. I hear 43 years of preparation. Yes. 43 years of you actually not choosing singleness is lonely but choosing how do I best engage yes. with both the father mm -hmm. um, because what you're describing there of he showed you all of these things about your husband mm -hmm. um, that's a level of intimacy that you have with the father to be able to to know all of those things mm -hmm. and so um, what I want to do is I want to invite this husband in right now because yes. he stood right with us yes this person that you prayed for for years and years yes that you you talked to the father about that the father kept you for that's right um, so Brian why don't you you come in here he is. Yay! This is God's faithfulness right here. You can do it. If you are single, you can do this. You can stay pure until you get married. You can build that relationship with God. Heed the red flags. Just build a relationship with God and live life fully because God wants you to shine. He wants you to live life more abundantly. He wants you to, to feel confident in His love for you and let Him be your husband while you're on this journey of singleness.